Okay, so this is going to be my review of the newest episode of The Flash, and this episode, <laughs> man, this is a really good one. But having said that, there are some minor things. Once again, we have Iris, who I'm starting to have no fucks to give about that character. Eddie is also kind of like, a, there's a, a stupid moment with Eddie in here, and I'll, and I'll get to that when I get to that. But on a whole, I really did like this episode. I really did like it. The romantic BS is there, and the whole time I'm thinking, man, Daredevil got you guys beat in every a angle. Now, don't get me wrong, I really do like the Flash TV show more than, it's a hell of a lot better than Arrow. Having said it, the, said that, though, when you watch Daredevil, you suddenly realize, it puts into perspective that this show can do so, that show beat out every, you know, beat these two shows out in terms of superhero aspects in just 13 episodes. And it's not because of a Marvel D... This is not a Marvel versus DC argument, I'm trying to say here. It's not that at all. It's a matter of quality. That's that's what it really is. It, what it boils down to in terms of quality. It, Daredevil beats him out by a long shot. And you could say, oh, well, Daredevil's on Netflix. It got, it got to do whatever it wanted. That's not that, you know... Dare, you know, Flash may have some censors here and there, but on a whole, it could still, you know, do in terms of storytelling a lot better you can still do the same caliber of Daredevil writing without the, you know, the blood, sex, and whatever on The Flash with a few, th with, you know, with a few minor things here and there. But again, I do like this episode, and I do like where this is going, because, yeah, this finally showed <laughs> um, Ebard Thon's, Eobard Thon's uh, true intentions, we already knew that, and it gets really, it's, this is a really cool episode, because you know how Harrison Wells was always this sweet and kind guy, and even in the in the, in the episode, it may you know Barry actually admits that yeah, talking to Harris you know talking to Wells is like you know you you kind of forget how he you know how he murdered his mom, and I was like yeah that's uh, Tom Callahan I think that's the actor's name, I think it's Callahan or Callahan, I don't know how you pronounce the last name, but that actor. Seriously, like um, Barry said, he knows how to play that character and make you believe and forget that. Oh yeah, he's a psycho He's a psychotic speedster character, and for what it's worth, he is really good. And when he goes to, you know, when he reveals his true self, damn, <laughs> just damn, it is a, it is a moment that makes you go, oh shit. So we also got some major. Uh, we got some major, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, reveals in here, that apparently the AI Gideon was created by Barry Allen. We also got a quick men we got a quick mention to the Justice League, because they said founding member of the Justice, oh, oh, we can't say that because DC's being an idiot right now with movies. Sorry, I had to get some water. <laughs> but, yeah... Barry, you know, uh, Barry Allen discovers, yeah, Gideon, um, you, he create, he's going to create Gideon, and I also like, um, their mention of the, you know, we're going to get a, you know, closer version of the Flash costume. We are getting a closer, uh, rep representation of the Flash costume in the near future, so I think that's really cool. Uh, what else in here that I really liked? Oh, yeah, uh, using Everyman again. Uh, how Harrison uses every man again, and how he uh, outsmarts everyone, and how he re they reveal doing it, and it's it's kind of weird because then it kind of makes you think, wait, were we watching all the past episodes through Harrison Wells' t uh, secret monitor screens, or are they just? Th I'm gonna go with the latter and say they're just that lazy, and say that you know, because uh, it, it basically get a clip show in the on the wall. We get this giant wall clip show, and you really see. The uh, how far Eobard Thawne's madness really goes, and how far it's willing to extend, really. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was really cool how they made that reveal that Gideon was really Barry Allen's creation instead of uh, Thawne's creation. And also, uh, what else? Uh, when he, you know. Tom Callahan, like I said, Calavan, uh, when he reveals that he's really Eobard Thawne and reveals his true colors, he is terrifying. And I like, again, how he manipulates uh, Everyman, but real quick, can I just say that that was a... Did he just tell Everyman 
uh, you know, when he, you know, when Thawne re released uh, Everyman, did he just tell him, okay, you're gonna tell him this, 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 and this? Oh, by the way, I guess, yeah, you could tell him because he knew he was gonna get him, he was gonna get him killed. So, but then again, what if, you know, what if he didn't, you know, what if, well, you know, uh, Thawne didn't t time it right and Barry manages to save Everyman? Would his plan go to, well, no? Now that I think about it, probably wouldn't matter if he, if Everyman lived or died. But I just have to imagine that conversation. He's like, okay, uh, you're going to say that you're really, you know, you killed uh, Nora Allen's mom, and you're going to raise your hand up really menacing. Just just follow me on this. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's just going to blow their minds. And we, oh yeah, when you're done, you can leave. I just feel like that was the conversation right there. <laughs> um... Also, I love also when uh, Thawne captures Eddie... You know when Eobard captures Eddie, and he he's like, "Oh yeah, you're to I'm totally your, uh, <laughs> I'm to I'm totally your you know your distant relative, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna treat you with any respect." I love how he's like, "Oh yeah, you're just here for insurance," you know, just a bit. He did the whole Marty the. Also, there's this great moment in here where Eobard did the whole Mar uh, did a, had a Marty McFly moment because the whole underlying plot is that uh, bear you know. Eddie wants to ask Iris to marry him, and Eobard's like, "LOL, nope," because <laughs> he because he knows, oh yeah, if you marry the 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 white, you know, you marry the future wife of my arch nemesis, I'll never be born. That ain't happening. <laughs> so yeah, and I'm really curious to see the dynamic between Eddie and Eobard. Uh, throughout the next few episodes and where that's going to go. Whether he reveals to become... He makes him into, like, an amalgamation of Hunter Zolomon, Reverse Flash, or makes it reveals Eddie to be Cobalt Blue. Guess which one I'm hoping for? Cobalt Blue. <laughs> um, but yeah, also, can I just say that Iris is getting... Like, I know I've talked about this before, but Iris is just really getting on my fucking ner last nerve. Because, uh, and also how bad the writing is, because they have flashbacks of Barry's first few weeks in the hospital after being struck by lightning, and she gets struck, you know, she has an electrical jolt, and when she's talking to the Flash, and he runs off and gives him an electrical jolt, she just realizes, it's Barry. How the fuck did you get that from an electrical jolt? The dude runs, and he creates the electricity when he's running that fast. How the fuck did you just suddenly realize, oh, it's Barry? <sighs> Whatever. That's the thing, like, um, again, Iris is just getting on my last fucking nerve. And Joe wasn't that br Joe wasn't that bright either, like, uh, he was just being a dick to Eddie. Poor Eddie. Like, again, I feel bad for him. But no, when, um, he asks Iris, you know, he asks, um, Joe's permission to marry, excuse me, his blessing to marry Iris, and he's like, nah, that ain't happening. Even though he said, yeah, I trust you with my daughter. And then, um... Uh, you know, he tells Barry, I think he, she's going to marry the wrong guy if she marries Eddie. And, of course, Barry already has the future knowledge that Iris is going to become his wife. So, the romantic subplot really thickens. Wonderful. Also, Eddie, you're kind of being... You, you kind of also pulled the idiot card. Eddie also pulled the idiot card because he tells... When um, Joe ca tries to call Iris, he just says, oh, don't listen to him. I'm like, motherfucker, there is a super, a being with the Flash's speed out there, and, he, and he's probably coming to warn you guys to, uh, to run and hide. He sent you to protect your, his daughter. Do you think you could just let the little petty, you know, petty anger you're feeling towards not getting his blessing just pass that by for a little bit? Could you just not, could you just skip that? We don't have time for this right now, Eddie. So yeah, you pulled the stupid card right there, Eddie. Then again, what could they have done, you know, when they got the warning? It's not like they could outrun him. <laughs> anyway. All in all, really did like this. I really did like this episode. The romantic underlying bullshit is, again, something we can't really fix. Uh, what else did I, uh... Oh, yeah. Really super excited for Grodd. Oh, my God. You guys don't even know how excited I am for freaking Gro Gorilla Grodd to finally show up in this show. And... <laughs> yeah, they've been really playing cl Grodd close to the chest for a lot of the time. That He's just been, you know, in the shadows, and we're finally going to see Grodd in the next episode. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much all I had to say about this. So you guys tell me, what did you guys think of this episode? Did y'all like it? Did you guys hate it? Uh, just comment below and let me know. 
And uh, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.